I'm sorry, I beg your finest pardon. Who's told you this information? Because it's not true. We got some liquor in the house. Da Julio made me a fool for you. Hello darlings, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here. My name is Emma Tamsin Hill. Thank you for joining me today. We're in the car as always. So I thought I would vlog this weekend because I'm doing some cute stuff. It's my boyfriend's birthday. Well, no, it's not his birthday this weekend. It's his birthday next week, but we're celebrating his birthday this weekend. So I'm really excited for that because I've planned this whole thing. So I'm gonna like bring you on the journey of that. Look at me, I'm cheesing so hard. I'm gonna bring you on the journey because I've decided to do like, have you seen on TikTok when the girlies do like the this or that and you like put two things on a card and you hold it up and they pick one? That's what I'm doing. So I've had all these different things that I'm doing. Okay, so right now I'm going to pick up his birthday cake. It's Friday today, but he's actually not coming till Sunday. He was supposed to come on Saturday, but some things have happened at home. He has to stay. So he's going to come Sunday, Monday. That's when we're going to celebrate so right now i'm going to pick up his cake he has no clue what we're doing i'm not told actually i've told him what getting a massage that's all i've told him um but he has no clue what's going on he was trying to probe me last night for the hints like oh what are we like yeah. like no because i'm bad at keeping secrets first of all because i want i get excited and i want to tell you but i actually want to make it special for him so i'm not telling him what we're doing i mean we're not doing anything crazy but you wish to do normal stuff, but I just want it to feel like special. So right now I'm going to pick up his birthday cake. So the girl who I'm getting his cake off, she runs these bento cake classes. So I've just got him like a lunchbox bento cake, like only like this big. Um, Cause I mean, it's only me and him. So she runs these cake decorating classes and I really wanted to go to one of her classes a while ago. And I don't know why I haven't, like I just never got around to it. So I knew she made these to order as well. So I've ordered one from her. I'm gonna put her at on the screen or down below or wherever. She's called Bento, what's she called? I actually don't even know. It's like Bento cake something, I'm not sure. Anyway, so I'm gonna go pick it up now. I literally just got a plain white cake with HBD, my love, on top. And I'm gonna put strawberries on it. So I'm gonna go, I don't know if to do it today or on Sunday. I'm gonna check the status of the cake because I don't want it, like the strawberries to bleed. But at the same time, I don't want the cake to get not too hard as to where I can't put the strawberries on on Sunday. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, I really should have picked up the cake tomorrow, but because it's Ramadan, she's only doing like Ramadan um, bookings for the weekend. So that's why I couldn't pick it up them. So I sent on um, Pinterest, like, like a little white cake with strawberries all around. So I was like, that is so cute. I'm gonna do that, but then I've got the writing on the top. I've booked us both to have a couple's massage, a couple's massage, I don't know I'm in my life. Couple's massage on Sunday. And then I'm also picking up some sushi. So this lady that I know from home, like her and her husband have this business where they make sushi. So I'm getting a platter of sushi for us to have Sunday night. What else are we doing? Yeah, we're gonna do the card game. So you're gonna see everything that I'm doing. You're gonna come on the journey with me. I was to and fro and like, do I even make this video? But I am really happy and I feel like my oh oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, I was really to and fro and about do I make this video? Because obviously I'm not showing him now it's so hard to strike a balance between like sharing my life but also keeping some of it for myself and i am still at that place like within this relationship where it's like i don't want to share too much maybe when we're like two three years down the line then i'll share more but <sighs> six months in like i'm good i don't know we've had discussions about this many times it's hard like when you do this as a job like what do i keep for myself and what do i share with the world and I know you guys are interested and it's like I'm also happy and I'm an oversharer and I want to share but I have to rein it in because I realise that there's also not nice people out there and there's a lot of people that will dissect and pick apart your life and I fucking hate that shit. Like even this morning I was getting comments on my TikTok because I've been um, putting up my house viewing TikToks and stuff and talking about my flat on it and journey. This girl commented and was like, oh, her daddy funds her lifestyle anyway. I'm sorry, I beg your finest pardon. If there's people out there that really think my father pays for my rent and pay for my house and paid for my car, you're absolutely insane. I have paid for 
I don't know if people think I make no money or something, like, but being an influencer is a pretty cushy job. And if people still think that my dad pays for my lifestyle, I'm confused because he definitely doesn't. I pay for all of my stuff myself. And I don't know, it feels like such an underlying jab. Like, cause it's like, even if he did pay for my lifestyle, what would be the issue? Like, it would be no one's business. But I feel like people try and undermine your work and undermine your worth as a businesswoman or whatever it is to be like, mm, but she didn't even pay for her shit. I'm sorry, have you spoke to my accountant? Have you spoke to my father? Have you spoke to me? Who's told you this information? Because it's not true. Very, very mad. And I just think it's mad how much people don't worry about their own lives and they get in other people's business that they don't even know on the internet. But that is the amount of air time I'm going to give the negativity because there is so many more amazing people that I really, really, really appreciate. So you're going to get my airtime because I love you guys. But yeah, on the way to pick the cake up, let's see how it looks when we get it. Guys, look how cute this is. I just picked it up and it came like this. I'm going to take the string off just so I can look at the cake. Nah, I think this is the cutest thing ever. Look at the branding. And it's like the perfect size, like it's just a little mini cake. That probably served like three, four people. It's so cute. Okay, I'm home. Here's a better look at my little cake. I don't wanna. Look how cute that is. So it's fresh cream. And obviously I'm not gonna need it till Sunday. So she said to me, put it in the freezer and then just take it out like five hours before you wanna eat it. So I think I wanna put it in the freezer, take it out on Sunday morning. And then I think this will soften up and I'll be able to put the strawberries all round. It's so cute, I'm obsessed. And inside, what did I do? I think I did red, red velvet. Red velvet cake with cookies and cream icing because they didn't have like a cream cheese because he loves red velvet. Other than that, I've got home to some parcels. So let's open them. Is that too bright? I'm not sure. Anyway, this is the best invention ever. So I got it, flipping out. I got it on Amazon and you just do that and it like covers your address. So when you put throw the box out oh my god what's wrong with me when you throw the box out you can't see your address i know what this is and it is a bottle of liquor we got some liquor at the house so along with like the activities that we're gonna do i've also got him some presents just to, like to have on the table so i'm gonna like basically do get some balloons get a bit of bunting put it on the table and then i've got him a couple of gifts so i've got him like some calvin klein boxes I've got him this bottle of alcohol and then I've also got him personalised chocolate bar. Oh my God, I need to show you when it comes. It's like, have you seen them on TikTok? And it's like they put dirty sayings on them and you can put whatever you want on it. So I got him this personalised chocolate bar and it says, eat this then me. <laughs> but I don't know if it's going to arrive on time because I don't think it's been shipped yet. So that might get here late. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh okay. Da Julio made me a fool for you. Wow, she stopped. So we got some Don Julio Reposado. So yeah, got him a bottle of liquor. Bottle of tequila. Do I put it in the box or do I just leave it out? That's pretty. I've never had this kind of Don Julio. I've had 1942. I bought myself a bottle of that for my birthday a few years ago, but Never had the Don Julio. It wasn't crazy expensive. Like it was no more expensive than like a Casa Amigos. And I've, I've never had Casa Amigos, but that's quite expensive. This is like the same kind of price as Patron. So his birthday card is also here. So let me show you that. I always buy my friends birthday cards from Hood Greetings. Cause I just think they're really cute and they're funny. So I got him a Hood Greetings card. It says for my baby face King. Very cute and it's blank, so I can write a huge message inside. This one is actually for me. This is from Soul and Gold, I can see it on the package. They messaged me uh, recently and was like, do you wanna get some jewelry, babes? We love you." And I've had jewelry from them before and I loved it. So I was like, yes. I've even forgot what I picked out now. Look how cute the packaging is. I got these little everyday earrings because I needed some like new everyday as little gold hoops but they're like twisty they're really pretty oh oh ah i just dropped it in the sink oh my god let me just chill should we put them in because i actually don't have any earrings in right now so there's the new hoops very cute 
And then in here we have two rings. Yeah, yeah. I really like tall and gold because they do bigger rings. Well, that one actually looks a bit small if you ask me. That could be a cute pinky ring now. Just a gold dome. Very cute. That's like a perfect pinky ring. I mean, it could fit on here, but I don't like it when the rings are like too tight because I get scared I'm not going to get it off. So we'll put that on the pinky for now. And then I also got this. So it's just like a, what do you call that? Like a signet ring with a blue stone. Yeah, that fits on my... Very, very, very cute. Obsessed! Oh, they're so cute, look. Thank you, Soul and Gold. I appreciate you guys. And these bags that the jewellery comes in actually comes in handy so much because when you go on holiday, I just put stuff like this. I put my jewellery in these little bags and you can just take it. And finally, I have a Boohoo parcel. So I ordered it last weekend, but half of it came on Sunday and then half of it came yesterday. So I do need to try the stuff on. I might do that with you now. Let's try on some stuff because I did have some other stuff coming as well. So let's do a little try on. All right, girls, it's the next day. I didn't try on my boohoo yesterday because I sat down at my desk. I started doing work and I didn't stop for hours and hours. So never got around to it, but I will be doing it today. I've just been downstairs to pick up some parcels. <laughs> I just picked this up. I didn't know if this was going to arrive on time, but it has arrived on time. So it's the chocolate that I bought. So all my presents are now here. Oh my God. This shit looks good. So this is from Coco and Paper. Everything I bought for his birthday, by the way, guys, I bought it. So this is not no flipping ad or nothing like that. I've seen these on TikTok. So it says... Eat this and then me. I know that's right. This looks so good. I'm so happy. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> so I'm about to, you know what? I'm gonna go on a walk because I've been wanting to go to the gym four times a week. This week I've been twice, but then the session that I did on Wednesday wiped me out. I was so stiff thursday friday that i was like had no motivation to go to the gym which kind of defeats the point doesn't it but because my mind my mind has been so like busy and cluttered with this move and just i've been behind on content like i've got a lot of stuff to edit just a lot of stuff to do so my mind has been pretty cluttered so i've not been wanting had any motivation to do anything active but i know i need to do it because it'll make me feel better so i'm gonna go on a walk i'm gonna go get a coffee go on a walk go on the sunbed mm, don't shout at me and then after that I'm gonna get into some cleaning in the house. I need to go pick up a sushi platter later that I've ordered for the birthday boy that we are gonna have tomorrow. And then I'm gonna go to like the party shop, get a couple of balloons, nothing too crazy. And then we can like set up the scenario on the kitchen table. He's not coming till tomorrow. I'm very happy. It came in this box and everything like it's given profesh, professional. And you can get, and like, I put that on there, but you can put anything you want on the slab of chocolate. You could just have it like clean and be like, happy birthday, Sarah. Or you can have it like, love you in this dick, you know? They will actually do that for you. <laughs> I also ordered, so basically, as one of the this or that things that I'm doing for the weekend, I'm doing breakfast tomorrow. So I'm gonna do like avocado on toast or pancakes. And when I was in um, Barbados, they have like Aunt Bessie's there. Not Aunt Bessie's. What am I on about? Aunt Jemima. Aunt Jemima. And they have this pancake mix. And it was so... It was so easy to use. Oh, my God. It's leaking. It was so easy to use. Um, and it was so nice. And all you did was add water. And I was like, raw. This is great stuff. So, I found it on um, Amazon. And I bought a box. <laughs> I just had like a sachet. Oh, my God. It's broke. It's broke. It's a little bit broken, it's all come out. Hold on, let me clean it off. So this was £10 on Amazon. I could make the pancakes myself, but it's like, if I could just have a pancake mix, why would I make them myself? Because they were so easy and they were so tasty. So, this one actually isn't Aunt Jemima. It's Pearl, Pearl Milling Company. New name, same great recipe, Aunt Jemima. So this says it's the same thing as Aunt Jemima. And the packaging is the exact same. So it's pancake and waffle mix, just add water. 
So I've bought that for if we have pancakes tomorrow morning. And then lastly, I've got my card to do my this or that cards. So I just bought some white index cards. I'll probably chop these in half and we'll use their money to write on them today or tomorrow. That's it for now. I've got a wash on. I've took my recycling out. Life is good. If you saw the way I was cleaning that bathroom, I'm actually tired because I was put in in a shift. I was sweating, scrubbing the tiles. I've just been feeling like icky in my house at the moment. Like, so I was like, I want to deep clean this bathroom. Obviously, it's gonna, everything is going to get a proper deep clean as well when I move out. But the last couple of weeks in my house, I want it to be spotless. That's how I feel like. I want to enjoy it. But yeah, I went on a little walk. I got my little coffee. And you know what? The coffee wasn't even that nice. I was a bit disappointed. I was thinking, mm, I could have made this at home. And it cost me like £4.80. Ah, oh dear, oh dear. Anyway. I had to just nip out quick. I'm not even finished cleaning the bathroom. I've left some like stuff to sit. So when I come back, I can scrub the shit out of it. I left the window open so there's no fumes in there. But yeah, I've got to go now to pick up my sushi platter. So we're gonna eat the sushi tomorrow. I'm gonna go pick it up now and then I'm also gonna kill two birds with one stone. I'm gonna go to the party shop, get some balloons, get a couple bits of bunting. I'm also gonna see if I can go fly by um, like a Chinese or Asian grocery store because I really want to get some soju because that's one of the this or that's so I need to I might try and do that up today might even have to go to Chinatown but I'm hoping that I'll like find a different shop that I could just go to and they'll have it so wish me luck we're gonna run some errands I really keep forgetting that I've got this pimple patch on right now but I've just got to the retail park I picked up my sushi it's down there on the floor. Look at the lights on it and everything. It's so cute. I got my sushi from this place. I've had sushi from them before and they're amazing. They're called Hitchens Kitchen. They are in Preston, like Preston Way, but they do all around like Lancashire. And Preston, Lytham, Clitheroe, all of that stuff. The sushi is so nice, so I really cannot wait to eat that. But I'm back home now. I'm gonna go to the party shop, get some balloons, get them blown up. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> balloons secured i'll show you them properly when we get home i just got to wing it so we're gonna go inside and get the soju mm -mm. okay soju secured so plum is our favorite flavor. We've pretty much tried all of them, but we haven't tried grapefruit. So I got plum and grapefruit. We probably won't drink both of them, but who knows? I like to have options. Guys, the sushi looks so good. It's all wrapped up, so I don't want to take it out of the package, but I will show you. So gorgeous. I want to eat it right now. I got a banner that I'm going to put. I don't know where I'm going to put it, actually. I might put it on the door or... Somewhere in the house, probably on the door, so he's like a little surprise when he arrives. I'm gonna go back to cleaning the bathroom right now and then just tidy up a bit more in the bedroom and all that stuff. I just want a nice, fresh, clean house. My friend Lauren is coming over in a little bit. I haven't seen her in a while, so we're just gonna chill, kiki, catch up. I mean, you can't tell, but the 
the floors are hoovered, everywhere is clean. The office is, well, let's ignore that, but you know, I still need to try these on. I've been saying for the past couple of days I need to try these on, I genuinely will. But right now I'm about to have an everything shower. Absolutely buzzing. So, I took everything out of my shower, like, I was having like every, not everything, but a lot of my products on the sides and it was just getting dirty and I was like, this is gross. So I've took them out and I'm putting them on here for now. So then when I do wash my hair, I can just take the products out of here because I'm going to keep my shower gel in there. But anyway, these are the products that we're going to be using today. So I'm going to wash my hair. I do a double wash. So this is a Phil Mitchell um, clarifying shampoo. Like this just gets all the gunk out and I use dry shampoo and stuff. So it just helps get all that out. Gonna condition with a little bit of this. This is the pattern medium conditioner. I like it because it's so thick. It's kind of like a mask and I would rather use a mask than a conditioner. This is just a little head scrubber that my mum got me from rehab. Wash my face with that. I've been using this for a while just to wash my face. Shave, exfoliate. So I'm gonna use this Deodoc Shave and Foam. And then I'm gonna exfoliate with this from Bath and Body Works. This is really nice. Like I like the foam in scrubs because I want, I don't like it when it's just sugar and there's nothing happening. Like I like for it to get a bit of lather. Then when we get out of the shower, I've just got some hair stuff, leave-in conditioner, a bit of Olaplex number nine. I'm gonna put this on my hoo-hoo-ha. <laughs> And then I'm gonna moisturize with this because it's like, I'm feeling a little bougie. This is the Delina Parfum de Marly, you know, the perfume Delina. This is the body cream. But I like to mix my creams with an oil, so I'm just using this. I got this in Malta a couple years ago and it is so nice and I you can't buy it here, but it smells gorgeous. Pistachio cream and magnolia. So if you're in Malta or anywhere else in Europe, this oil is really nice. Okay, we're gonna get in the shower and do all of that and I'll chat to you when I'm drying my hair. Okay, I'm feeling very fresh. I've just popped a spot on my chin. I'm thinking, should I have done that? Let's just leave it alone. <laughs> so it's time to dry my hair. So what I've been doing at the moment, I've been using my Shark Flex Style ever since I got it around November time. So what I use is, this needs cleaning out actually. I will either dry my hair a bit so it's like this, where it's not sopping wet, it's just damp, but I kind of let it air dry for 10, 20 minutes. So it's already going that way. Heat protectant, I just use this Lee Stafford one. I feel like I get a much smoother blow dry when I use a heat protectant. And obviously I should be using one anyway because it's good for your hair. This is a little, this is good. So it's the Archive Body Hybrid Mousse. This is really good. Um, the only thing is, for me, sometimes I feel like it makes my hair, it doesn't make my hair knotty, but I feel like it's knotty, but it's not. I think it's just because of the volume and I'm not used to the volume, but this really does add volume to your hair. Maybe I'll put rollers in, guys. I'm just a bit concerned, right? When I was in the shower, shampooing my head, I thought, oh shit. Usually when you get a massage, they will massage your head at the end and then put oil in your hair. And I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna do my hair, make it look stunning and then have someone put oil in it and ruin it. And I mean, it feels amazing, but I'm not having my hair ruined. So when I get there, I'm gonna have to say to the girl before we start, please don't put any oil in my hair <laughs> because I'm gonna blow dry and it's gonna look cute. Maybe I should put rollers in. But then at the same time, I need to go and do a food shop and I'm not having rollers in whilst I'm going for a food shop. Sorry, I'm just getting the hair out of the brush. Let's not do rollers, because I mean, I don't need to. Maybe I'll do a cute little roller tomorrow night. I've stopped doing rollers at all. Like I used to, I went through a phase of using rollers a lot and I really liked them. But for some reason, I just don't do it anymore. I need a haircut though. Like look how long my fringe is. So I definitely need a haircut. My hairdresser was taking a couple months off because he had like something going on with his family. So I haven't, I was due a hair appointment. I can't remember what it was, maybe maybe a month ago now. And then we just didn't have it. But he's back at work now. So I really need to get booked in with him so that I can have my hair redone because the color needs doing. My auntie used this last weekend. So my auntie was at my parents' house and we all like had a family weekend basically. And she was like, can you put some um, curls in my hair? So I used this on her. Well, actually I was getting ready so my mum did it on her. And she was like, this is amazing. Are you gonna get me one? I was thinking, I'm not getting you one, hon. You can get one yourself. But <laughs> they really liked it. You know what, I'd usually do that, but I feel like that's the recipe for disaster. So we'll just put it in my hands. It smells really nice. It smells like grapefruit. 
I try not to put too much in because my hair is fine, so it doesn't need tons of product. I don't even know if I'm applying it right, guys. Is this how you apply mousse? But I don't know, this is how I've been doing it. Just a tiny bit more for good luck. Right, so I'm just gonna blow dry her now with the round brush. I do both sides, so like front and back. Okay, my hair is fully dry. Can you see like, it's got a nice bit of volume, nice bit of volume. I could keep it like this, but it'll go frizzy. So we're gonna use the little curlers. Someone had commented, commented on one of my videos saying that they wanted to see me use it. So I'll do a couple now and I'll show you because I feel like for people who have never had one of these, it is a bit confusing at first. The L side, I'm gonna do the left side of my head with that. So I do L for left, R for right. You could swap them around, just depends which way you want your curls to sit. Take a section like that. You don't have to do super small sections unless you want like tighter curls. I just kind of want like the cute blowout look. So you turn it on and then you go from the bottom and it'll wrap round and you just pull it up, okay? Like this. Sometimes I'll put it on myself like that and then just go like that. And then hold it there for like 10 seconds and then hold down this cool shot button. So it's cooling down the curl and it sets it. And then you turn it off before you take your hair out. So you turn it off and then you go like this. There you go. Obviously it's not gonna stay like that. It drops out a lot, but it stays looking really cute. My hair will have a curl to it for like a good week if I don't wash my hair, even after I brush it and stuff like that. So it's not gonna be like super tight curls, but your hair will stay looking nice. I'm gonna do the rest of my head. Society is so anti-child. Is so against children existing in places where adults are trying to exist. Society as a whole is treating children like this now. So of course they're going to be trying to grow up as soon as they can to have any semblance of autonomy or control over their lives. So that creator was talking about the fact that we don't really like to let teenagers exist in public and act as teenagers. We kind of think that they're loud or unruly, so we close their spaces and we push them out of the spaces that we think are public or communal. So then generally, depending on income level, those kids are either pushed to the streets or they're pushed on the internet. And for a while, there were a lot of online services that were kind of targeted for children and for preteen. There we go, girls. That is the blow dry. This will drop out a lot. But when it's first done, it looks cute. I did something new with my fringe, like I, I like did it all in one and it's kind of, I don't know, it's very bouncy but at the same time I'm like shit, I don't know if I like how that looks. <laughs> you see like how it's curling forward instead of backwards, it's because I used the tool for this side on my whole fringe. Anyway, I might have to, to curl that the other way. Cute. I'm gonna get dressed, get myself together and go to the supermarket because I need to do a little food shop. Okay, I'm dressed. I'm just gonna put a bit of skincare on. Then we'll get out of the door. I fancy using something different today. What shall I use? I've been using this Bioma Serum at the moment, the Hydrating Serum. I don't think it's anything spectacular. Like, it's cheap and it's good and it does its job, you know? But... It's nothing crazy. Would I repurchase it? Yeah, because it's affordable and like a decent enough hydrated serum, but it's not doing anything out of the ordinary. Do you know what I mean? The only thing at the moment that I really feel like is doing bits in my skincare routine is this um, ordinary glycolic acid toner. So, you know, since I've been getting all these chin breakouts, I've, and I've been saying all the time, oh, I've stripped it back, I've stripped it back. I'm still, I'm still stripping it back. <laughs> so I'm kind of scared to use anything new on my face. So I haven't 
been doing anything crazy to so my skin like i've just been working on trying to clear it up rather than it looking like super glowy or super hydrated you know when i use this i only use this on a night time and i'll use it maybe two or three times a week when i wake up the next morning my face is glowy like it's it's nice so that's like a nice little gentle to uh, not toner what's it called exfoliant what i am obsessed with though is this dollhouse cosmetics lip oil it's in the color Oh, I don't know what colour it's in, you know. It doesn't say, and it's rubbed off. But it is so nice. It's like, it's just a cute little lip oil. It kind of has like a coffee flavour, I think. Not super keen on the flavour, but it's not like off-putting. Look at the cute little applicator too, the packaging. I think these are like £10. And I've been applying it like non-stop. I've been applying it like lip gloss because it does have like that little brown tint to it, but it's not too much where you can still wear it with no makeup on. Let's get ourselves to the supermarket. Ah. Woo! That was a lot. Look at my flowers. Stop sleeping. My supermarket flowers, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Eight pound. And you can get bunches for four pound as well. Let me do you a little Tesco haul. As one of the this or that for this weekend, it's gonna be like pancakes or avocado on toast. So I've got some nice bread. I got green olive and rosemary sourdough. Chicken mince, I've been into chicken mince at the moment because you can have it like as a little breakfast patty in the morning. Lemon pepper sea bass. I went a bit rogue, I got some cavolo nero. I don't usually do that, that's just posh kale in it. But I thought, let me get some leafy greens in. Cucumber, this is the fattest cucumber. Pak choy, because I like to have this with my noodles. Broccoli, this is my veg of choice normally. I got some baking potatoes. Two chicken breasts. I got a couple bananas. I never get too many bananas because they go off so quick and I don't eat them. So I've just got two. Mini cream. Some baby potatoes because I've been seeing like, you know the smashed crunchy potato salad? I've been seeing it everywhere on TikTok and Instagram. So I want to make a potato salad. There was barely any fruit in the supermarket. So I got some blueberries, but they are like big juicy fat ones. So if we do pancakes tomorrow, I'm going to put them in the pancakes avocado and then i got two oranges and a lemon i had to teach myself to just buy like singular things because if if i buy a whole bag of oranges i won't eat them i don't know what it is i've just got to buy like one or two or something i buy them because i think it's a good idea and then i just don't eat them and it's like what a waste also i got a couple of um gift wrap things for his presents so i'm gonna put like this on the boxes and like this on the bottle of tequila cute just to judge it up because i'm not wrapped anything because it's like what's the point you're gonna unwrap it anyway had to go to the co-op to get strawberries. This is just my drink that I got, aloe vera juice. Oat milk. I'm a, I'm a almond milk girl, but my flatmate has oat milk and I drank all of his oat milk, so I re-upped that for him. I got a couple soups. I don't know why I don't normally get soup, but I was craving tomato soup the other day, so I thought, oh, let me get a chicken and a tomato, and then I can have that with the sourdough as well. I've been struggling for lunches. Like, I'm just like, what the hell do I eat? So something like soup, it's easy, isn't it? Drain and blocker for the bathroom. I got some cheese. Oh dear, they're on their side. I've got some eggs. Let's hope they're not broken. No. Tropical juice. This was the same price. It was on Club Card. It was on Club Card. This was the same price as Tesco and brand. So I'm going to get the bougie shit. And then I fancied some sweeties as well. I don't normally get sweeties, but I've got fruit pastels and jelly snakes. These natural confectionery jelly snakes. When I was a teenager, I was obsessed with these. What a throwback. Then I got a nasty martini because my baby boy loves a nasty martini. So random, but yeah. That ain't my, that ain't my girl, that's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drive with him. Catch me in the whip, ride with him. Hey, sipping something, bumping being hypnotized with him. Pray you get that job in town, bro. Okay, the bows look cute. You know what? I really considered buying confetti and like putting it on the table, and then I thought that's gonna be such a mess, and I cannot be asked to clean that up. Okay, I'm gonna put my flowers in a vase, and then I need to put strawberries on the cake. So I've just had like had this idea about putting strawberries around the cake. So that's what I'm gonna do.
with you. I be on you, bring your diesel and pencils too. Here you go, you tryna tease with them bitches. You can ride on me just like you ride the elliptical. She said I'm tryna keep it tight for my nigga, girl. I like your last nigga, all I need is mental. You know I'll work you out, get you right with your physical. Always oh, just another interlude. Asking all the questions, girl. You know I don't do interviews. It's pitiful that when I'm with them other bitches, I pretend it's you. Oh, you work at clothes, you in dental school. Wiping out your clothes, clothes, you can dental too. Young girl, you got my own, it's too grippy too. It's only right that I clean by hitting two. First base, second base, third base. I'm trying to get you in your birthday. Oh, I know these other niggas thirsty, but please never entertain them, cause I could hurt me. It's real, man. Strawberries on the cake. This is everything laid out. Okay, he's gonna be here in 45 minutes. I've done everything except I need to write my this or that cards. So I've got some cute sharpies here. I'm not gonna do pink. What's a boy called? Blue. Okay, we can do blue, blue and green. Not me with the gender norms. Am I all right? I could do pink if I want. In fact, matter of fact, give me that. So the first one I'm going to do is ice cream or froyo. My handwriting is so bad, this is embarrassing. Not my terrible drawing, this is actually embarrassing. <laughs> right, remind me to not draw on these because the drawing is terrible. So we've got ice cream and froyo. <laughs> Pancakes or avo on toast. Driving or passenger prints. I just realised I've spelt passenger wrong. How are we going to do that? I'm going to do coffee or bubble tea. New shoes and new fragrance. Aviasia or gaucho. Soju or asti. This is a naughty one, so I can't really show you. This is naughty things. <laughs> I've got all my cards. Everything is organised. <laughs> so I'm just going to do the final touches, get ready, and then I'm going to get in from the station. And we're going for a couple's massage at half past six. Cannot wait. And then when we get home, we're going to have our sushi. I'm going to try and film as much as I can, but at the same time, like, I'm going to also enjoy the moment. So I'll try and film little bits, but for the most part, it's just going to be me enjoying my man's birthday. Yeah. Hopefully I'll catch up with you later or tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's the morning time now. I'm just about to make breakfast. We've just done our first little card. And he picked pancakes. So I'm about to make pancakes, blueberry pancakes. Last night was so cute. Went for a massage. I'm kind of in pain today because she really got into my back. But it was really good. Went to this place called Arakaya in Chawtham. It's like a Thai massage place. But it was so funny because the whole time I'm getting massaged, every just every now and then I just hear the lady say, you're really strong. <laughs> and she just kept saying how strong he was and how he was a big boy. And I was like, wow. Okay. <laughs> it was super cute. We had our sushi. We watched some TV. So, the day's about to get started. He's in the shower. I'm going to cook blueberry pancakes. Mm -hmm.
I'm feeling fresh. <laughs> Even though we did drink quite a bit last night. I didn't record that much because I was honestly just enjoying myself. So yeah, we went to Gaucho. What? I'm just talking to my camera. But we went to Gaucho. The food was so nice. Like I've not been there for a while. I went with my dad the last time. And it's like obviously overhyped, but I'm like, you know what? It's worth the hype because the food was banging. Then we went for some drinks, came back to the hotel, went to the bar in the hotel. I didn't even show you the room. This is the room. I love this hotel. It's probably my favorite in Manchester, but it's very expensive. But I actually got a really good rate on it because it was like a Monday night. I love the Dakota Hotel. So we've just had a lovely time, really. We're gonna have some brunch now and then go home. I've got like a bit of work I need to do today, like adding new stuff on my laptop, sorting out the new flat. <clears throat> because I'm moving in like, what, two weeks? So there's a lot to do, but I've had a lovely weekend. Guys, I keep getting these big breakouts on my chin. It's really annoying me because I thought I got rid of them. And then when I went to Barbados, like it started coming back and I don't know why. And it's just not stopped ever since I got back from Barbados. So yeah, I had a big breakout there yesterday. I was wearing a spot patch all day. Hopefully it sorts itself out. Cause I'm not into it as of right now. Hello my loves, it is now, oh my God, what day is it? Thursday. This week has gone so fast because the majority of it was taken up with birthday activities and whatever. So yeah, I can't believe it's Thursday already. I'm like, where has the week gone? Right now I'm heading out. I'm gonna go on a little walk. I've been feeling so nauseous. Yesterday and today, proper nauseous and I don't know why. So I was gonna go to the gym, but I was like, let me do some light, let me just do a walk and then I'm going to get a facial from my friend, bye. I was vlogging in the lift and then a girl came inside to cut my conversation short. Hey, um, I've come to get a facial now. You're my bestie. Hey, hey. So we're gonna sort out my skin. It's, I've been having breakouts again, okay. ever since Barbados. Uh -huh. They've just not yeah, really gone do, away. Do yeah, it, it was looking good, but. You are looking real good. It's not really, they've, they've okay. calmed down a bit, but there's still some under the skin stuff here. Let's have a look. Yeah. This is what came off my face. Look at all that. Hair and dirt and bits of spots. Where's the, have you put them in the bin? Yeah, my spots. That's what my face looks like. We do the extractions. I'm looking at the red, but it'll. She's a little inflamed. Yeah, it'll go down. So we've done all my extractions and we did a chemical peel. Mm -hmm. But I am glowy though. You are, that red will subside in a few hours. And then obviously the break off, just give it a few days or so. Yeah. Honestly, every time I have one of these, like my skin is flawless. Yes. Until it wants to start acting up again. Smooth Yeah. I'll put her info down below. <laughs> I'm back from my facial. I'm slightly red, but it will go down. I love getting my spots like professionally popped and having all the blackheads extracted because I don't do that stuff by myself. So when I get Sammy to do it, she gets all the gunk out. And I'm very much glowy now, but we just need to look after this skin this weekend and make sure I don't get any more breakouts coming. But I've just come home to some parcels again. I feel like I've not had like that many parcels recently and then now they're all coming at once. I'm excited about this one. I know what this one is. So my dear friend, Francesca Perks, who we actually have the same manager, she has just released a collection with this jewelry brand called Scream Pretty. And she's designed this gorgeous little jewelry collection. And it's, I think it's gold plated and it's just gorge. So she messaged me and was like, can I send you a piece from my collection? And I was like, of course you can. Oh, she's giving me a little discount code. So you can get 15% off with the code Francesca15. I'll put it on the screen. But let's see, because she basically said, choose three things and we'll send you one of them. So I don't actually know what I'm getting. I'm excited. They sent it in this lovely little bag. You girls know I'm a gold jewelry girl, so this is right up my street. Look at the little box. Oh, cute. I know exactly what this is. Um, so this is an ear cuff. I don't own many ear cuffs, but this is like a really nice quality one. Let me go and put it on and I'll come and show you. I can't get it in. I think my ears are too big which I didn't know that was a thing, <laughs> but I can't get it in. Like the space between like my lobe and my cartilage is a lot. Let me see. Maybe I've got big ears and because my nails are so long, I can't seem to like, I'm gonna play around with this some more and see if I can get it in. 
I've got a mystery bag here. I hate these Jiffy bags because they have stuff in them and they get everywhere, like the inside wrapper. Yeah. Can you see it? It's already started. Can you see all that? Not nice. What the hell is this? <laughs> what is going on? Plant a tree with us. It's Earth Month and Origins are on a mission to grow good by planting more trees. Kicking off April 1st for every order you place on origins.co.uk, Origins, in collaboration with Future Forest Company, will plant and care for a tree this month in Dumyat, Scotland. That is crazy. Oh, and then they've put me, oh my God, there's like moss in the bottom of here. We have some Origins Mega Mushroom Dark Spot Corrector Serum. I don't know what's in this. I think this is a tree planting kit. What the bloody hell is going on? Yeah, plant a, plant a tree. What well, am I gonna keep that on my balcony? That is very cute though. I love that idea. So I guess we're gonna plant a tree. Okay, I need to get back to editing right now. So I'll see you in a bit. Girlies, we have come to the end of the video. I think we're gonna have a lot of vlogs coming for the next month. It might be vlog heavy because there's just a lot going on over here at the moment. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Look at my little cheekies all glowy. I'm trying not to touch my skin because I feel like that is a problem and we need to get the bacteria away from the face. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon with a new one. Thanks for watching. Love ya. Goodbye. That felt like a weird outro. You know like sometimes when you say bye on the phone to people and you feel like it's not a good enough bye, like you have to do it again. Okay, thanks for watching. Love you. Bye. <laughs> that one was better. That one was better. I'm going for real now. Goodbye.